everyone welcome back to my channel Dine with Jane I trust you're all doing well and you're having an amazing week or a weekend or an evening or whatever time of day that you're watching uh, my channel so today I thought I'm gonna come and make some pies um, so I'm making minced pies I believe these patties or so this one I'm going to be using curry powder so there might be we might call them maybe Jamaican patties or pies or curry pies whatever the name it is so um yeah so that's what i thought i'm gonna do and i make loads of it and then i freeze it so that on days that i don't want to cook i can just take them out of the freezer and just chuck them in the oven for 10-15 minutes and they're ready to go so let me stop rumbling uh, i have few ingredients here that i'll be using and mostly uh you start i'm going to start firstly with the with the pastry which is the, the dough for making the, the pies. I have here, what, 200, 300 grams of butter. So this is, I just took it out of the fridge. It needs to be cold butter. Uh, some flour, just normal plain flour, all-purpose flour, sifted. Uh, so I have here three and a half uh, cups of flour. And I'll be using curry powder, but I have two types of curry powder. So I have the tikka curry uh, powder. This is a medium uh, blend. It's not spicy. And I'm using the normal curry powder here. So I have two of them. This one has a few ingredients in it. So, but it's pretty good. It makes the, um, the pastry smell really nice and taste really nice as well. I'll be using chili powder, uh, chili flakes, which are optional. If you don't like spices, you can omit them. I'll be using black pepper. Oops, I'm just after pouring something give me a second so uh, here I have that I just poured is a little bit of ginger um, ginger oil so I blended the ginger and I put it in oil and that's what it is and here I have garlic so minced garlic that will be for the minced uh, for the filling I have some carrots so thinly and very very you chop them really really small so I'm using two small carrots I'll be using here uh, peas so these are frozen peas uh, two small white onions thinly sliced because you don't want them to be too big in your in your in the in the mixture so yeah some salt olive oil and I'm using here mixed herbs so the mixed herbs has uh, thyme basil uh, oregano and marjoram so that's the spice that I'll be using so mostly those are the things that I'll be using and I have cold water uh, half a cup of cold water in the fridge so done doing the the flowers you can see it resembles uh, breadcrumbs or uh, ground almonds so now I'm going to add in an egg um, one beaten egg and just a tiny bit of water and using my hands again I'm gonna bring the flour to the to the egg mixture in the middle and then just Assemble it slowly, take your time. Start by doing the filling for the, for the pies. I'm going to start by turning on my, uh, the gas and warming up my pan. So my pan is nicely warmed. Add some cooking oil. I'll probably use two to three tablespoons of uh, cooking oil. So you can use any oil of your choice. And here I have some minced meat. So I'm using a thousand grams. add 
adding some of the garlic and a little bit of the uh, ginger oil. Now that the mince has brown, I'll add in my spices. Uh, take a curry and then another two teaspoons. So that's a tablespoon of each herbs as well. So those ones I'm just going to eye them, just see how much I need. Uh, depending on how spicy, spicy you want it to be, just give that a nice mix. So, just for added flavor, so a tablespoon of the bouillon and just mix it in. In paprika, uh, for, for, just for added color, a teaspoon of paprika. Give that a good mix. All that is gone in, I'll add in the carrots, peas, I'm just going to let that soften a little bit and I'll come back shortly. On this little bowl here I have corn flour so I've added um, a tablespoon and a half of corn flour. Uh, I just want to th uh, thicken the sauce so that it's not too watery and now I'll just add it in. If you don't like corn flour you can use arrowroot. Uh, as well, that will do the same same type of job. And now I'll add in some water, tiny bit more water. So the minced is done, the carrots are not fully done, neither are the peas because uh, they'll be cooking more further in the, in the oven. So I'm going to turn off my gas and let that cool down while we start on the, on the pastry. So we'll start by doing the dough and just dust a little bit on the, on the surface. Now I'm going to take a little fork and so that is one pie and that one the same same way add in your filling So as you can see, I've made, um, these are the first batch that I have. So these are what, 10 of them. A knife lightly and just... So 
so that when they're cooking the steam can um, go through them that way and then just egg wash them so this is just egg or egg and some water and just twist so I have my oven uh, warming up at 180 degrees uh, Celsius Celsius <laughs> Celsius um, and I'm gonna cook them until I am happy with the color outside and just knowing that the inside is as well cooked so so guys I'm finally done doing the pies as you can see they look pretty good um, yeah I uh, put them in the oven for 30 minutes and they perfectly came out nicely they smell amazing uh, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching so mostly how I eat I pair them with is I just make a like a tomato and onion courgettes and mushroom on the side just like a wet sauce to go with it but you know what they are as good as they are without anything so thank you so much for watching and until next time uh, I'll be talking to you again. Don't forget to let me know if you do try it. I managed to do I think 20 20 of them all together There's another batch in the oven cooking. So this is the first batch and yeah Hope you like the video Leave your comments and until then bye for now